Hi Aries, this is going to be your message. This is self-discovery support. Okay, so we have the nine of wands for you. And this is really about what you most need to know right now. There is a path ahead of you. I think you feel like, you could feel like you're being called in a direction. Um, which is, you know, it's something that I would expect for Aries. Is you you always have a sense of like this is what I need to do, even when it's confusing. There's a kind of natural pull, and so with that, and you have the magician in your hidden energy. This is telling me that you're being asked right now to persevere, even though it could feel like what's the point of going ahead? What's the point of going forward? The magician is here the point is whatever it is you're trying to manifest and bring into being is just at the end of this road but it needs that extra bit of aries push that you do very well now your advice comes out with the beetle it says think optimistically and this is um you know, I've been doing the colors for you, but I'm using the color in this card. It's a, it's mainly blue. And this is the color of your throat. It's it's a kind of blue purple, so I'm going to call it like blue um, for throat and slightly purple for um, your third eye. So there's something here about using your intuition. I, I, can't, I bet that something is saying to you keep going go on this track that you could be going on for some of you it has to do with manifesting the money the type of money that you want to have in your life the type of prosperity um there could be some kind of project but with this queen of coins here in you know on the back of the pile ooh, and the lovers i am gonna guess that there is and also the five of coins now i have to show this to you i'm gonna guess that there is somebody here it could be an earth sign could be a earth air sign gemini virgo capricorn taurus that you are potentially feeling a little bit separated from probably feeling disconnected probably feeling the urge to um, communicate get things going but there's there's worries that you have, right? Um, could you be rejected? Would, is this worth it? Um, of course, you're going to have to answer that question. But your main card, if we pack this all up and we look at your main card, it's a nine of wands. And it's the, the message that comes through is with effort and energy placed on the path that you're going what you want will come towards you i don't think you have to fight for you you shouldn't have to fight for um what comes into your life right and i know that you may be thinking well if it's mine it would just come but sometimes we do have to sometimes there's lessons and for some people their lesson is to sit back and let things come to them. For some people, it's to let go. And for some people, it's to put effort into maybe things of the heart, things that you actually want. Um, yeah. And I think that's where I would leave that. But this beetle energy is really saying that listen to your intuition. Speak truly from what needs to be said honestly. I, I'm guessing there's some kind of conversation with this person um for some of you it is a partner or a potential partner or 
becoming somebody abundant but i could feel like with this lovers it's somebody that you're supposed to be aligned to think optimistically can manifest without really believing that this thing is for you and also this thing needs the energy of almost calm not resistance right so the nine of wands is an energy of pushing further but it's not an energy of fight sometimes it can be seen that way but i don't see that for you now it's more of the path is there keep walking so that's what i have for you aries wishing you all the best and take care